and you never really think about Austria as a summer destination. But at least it's a very nice way to just cool down a bit. Of course, fear cannot rule us or overrule us even. Okay, big time tourist in this bus, but we're off to the Four Marine which was the one of the no, it was the prettiest place to be in Austria back in 2015. So apparently, you just have to go there. Oh, and for the Dutchies, this is the hotel where our royal family is always sleeping in. Oh my god, so not important. No, you guys it's June and I keep on finding it somewhat weird there's still so much snow and it's currently like 33 degrees here or something but at least it's a very nice way to just cool down a bit Here is just so nice because the air is just so fresh and so pure. When you breathe in, you're just really like, oh, I can't even describe it. It's just so incredibly clean. And you smell the flowers, all these beautiful flowers that you see in between yellow, purple, pink, everything. It's just beautiful. And then you very randomly meet a local who, um, uh, <laughs> who recommended us to go somewhere else and he can quickly bring us there because otherwise we will be back on time. So um, to return to Lech. So now we're in the car going to, I don't know where, to make the perfect picture. <laughs> Oh, can't even describe it. It almost feels like uh, it feels almighty, you know. Okay, guys. So this is actually such a special place to be because the um, the water is six degrees, so it's very cold, and you see all kinds of trees in the lake. But that's because of the avalanches in winter time. So in winter time, this is completely covered, and when there's an avalanche. At the end, it all just goes in there. And now, of course, it's June, so it's all melting, and you can actually see it. So really, I think it's a really, really special experience. It's incredibly beautiful. So nice here. I think for me the combo of being in the mountains, mountains everywhere, you can hike everywhere if you want to, but still having water around you to chill and to relax is the ultimate combo. After having lived in Cape Town, I'm always looking for a place to stay where you can find both, you know, the mountains and the water. Oh, so pretty. Such a beautiful path to walk 
Stockholm, you guys. I definitely recommend it. Reminds me a tiny bit of Spain, like Spanish islands, Ibiza vibes, but also a tiny bit of Italy, and also a little bit of the Caribbean, <laughs> which is kind of insane because you're in Austria. And I think that's the whole thing, right? At least in the Netherlands, Austria is really known for its winter sports holidays. And people just mainly go here to go skiing or snowboarding. But I'm a little bit exhausted, pardon. And you never really think about Austria as a summer destination. But something like this, yeah, I would definitely, definitely go here for a holiday in summertime. Beautiful. Ooh. Okay. Jesus. But it is damn pretty. Ah. Just a little break before we take the boat back. And I was just thinking while I was hiking here at the end with this bridge and everything, it's kind of a little challenge again. I mean, the rest of the path is fairly easy. But for me, either way, walking, hiking in nature is always also really a mental challenge, not only physical. Um, because I have a weak knee, I twisted my kneecap when I was um, 21. And I have fairly weak ankles. I also broke my ankle when I was 14. So when I'm doing these things, I really notice that it's a really good workout either way. But I also just really notice that it's a great mental challenge because of course these accidents uh, created a lot of fear. And of course fear cannot rule us or overrule us even. So for me, it's always a very good challenge to not give in to the fear, you know? Um, so I also uh, had a little mantra even uh, with a different hike that was really intense for me. I just created one while I was meditating in the morning and I said, I trust my body and I know what it does. And then I notice when I'm hiking, I'm also saying that to myself. It's sort of a positive um, affirmation for me to, um, to just give in to trust and not give in to the fear of what I know from the past and that these thoughts um, define me in a way, you know. Um, I still, of course, really feel it. Um, also, after a hike, for example, I really have this sort of egg on my knee. Um, so it's, it definitely has an impact. But although it has a physical impact, I really noticed that most of all it has a mental impact in how I stand in the situation and that I want to overcome this fear in a way. And I think, as in with everything in life, basically, when you've dealt with something in the past, you just take that with you, you know, in the present. While the whole thing is, with me, especially with hiking, it really, really forces me to be in the present moment. To not think about the past, to not be able to think about the future. You're really just focused. I need to focus also, and also just need to calm down and trust me that's, um, that's a really uh, positive effect although it's also every time still learning in progress um, in how how I can deal with that both mentally and physically it's a good learning curve all the time within these things right that we shouldn't give in to fear from the past and that we um, that we create our own present by either giving in to the thoughts that we create ourselves or by transforming them. Yeah. Okay, I need to go. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
welcome to pure heaven. Perfect after a day of hiking. Yeah. Right girls? <laughs> Watch. You keep the watch. Ah, how cold is it? Oh, the lichtje ook echt een gigantisch bee. Oké, oké. Zo. Super koud. more intense than I thought. Oh, I'm not really doing her a favor by filming like this. Everything safe? Yeah. Because the water is 14 degrees and I didn't know that. <laughs> really, really cold. But afterwards, it does feel very, very nice. So now it's just time to ultimately chill after six days of hiking. Day, last day um, we're doing another hike of course we're in the protected nature park called Carvendo and uh, we went here from the village where we were staying in Pertizao and we're now getting a, a tour um, from a ranger who's telling us everything about the nature here <sighs> beautiful already just a lovely activity to do it makes you much more aware of where you are and how to look at things I think so uh, yeah in this forest there are really some kind of species which are just in those kinds of forests you know so we have a lot of uh, maples here so there's mountain maples which are most one of the most popular trees here get uh, pollinated by bees more or less <laughs> wasps you know and the bees and the wasps they go inside here and uh, it's really slippery in there so they can't really get out of it you know and there is a kind of a, yeah that was in our planet as well <laughs> maybe it's a little bit yeah. kind of windows yeah you know and the insects they always stand to go to the sun to go to the light of course you know so they have to go just really at the bottom of the big shoe and then climb up this little ledge yeah and by doing this <laughs> they are pollinating the, yeah. the plant you know? they create life for each other basically it's a circular basically, system yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are producing kind of uh, nectar yeah. and stuff which is really good for the insects you know and they're really feeding out of them yeah and uh, and uh, and they have to to get the nectar go into the shoe and then there is just one way to get out and use that ledger yeah the ledge you know and so uh, so cool well guys talking about going uh, into nature uh, what do you think it was that's a chamois as well yeah Out and about for about out and about for about three hours and I have to say I really really love it um, I don't know I've done this now several times either like a herbology session 
or just getting to know the flora fauna um, in uh, in an area and um, yeah for me it's always a bit of a confirmation how um, detached we are from nature myself included you know that so many things you just don't know um, which is actually just the essence of where we come from or how we used to live so um, you know it's always a bit confronting I also think that I'm just like wow if, uh, if you needed to survive I don't know man <laughs> I don't know if I could do it you know and uh, yeah just this inner wish in a way like why don't we have a course like this that people teach you these things um, in primary school and uh, high school and everything it should just be basic knowledge right I would love that either way all right guys the last classic I'm at the airport scene I absolutely loved it this week it was really intense this is the last call for you. I have to say that I really have to get used to the airport vibes again. It's really busy here and um, after being in the mountains and so much serenity and quietness and awesomeness, this is really something else. And this of course is a world where we most of the times live in so you also realize again how important it is to have these little getaways I really hope that I was able to give you guys a good summary of some of the things that I liked most of this week I really really loved it I will definitely be coming back and um, yeah I hope you loved it too let me know in the comments down below I hope to see you in the next one and don't forget to keep letting love rule and stay a little bit wild. Okay, I love you guys. Hey.